If day across Central Florida, you look outside, you see a bunch of clouds, and then you'd step outside yeah. and say, oh, this feels pretty good. It's kind of this winter, February, January Florida setup. You know, it's not too cold, not too hot. Mm -hmm. Just right. Just right. And no rainfall either outside. Mm -hmm. This is the setup, Jimmy, you were just talking about, that overcast sky as we look toward downtown Orlando. The good news is I-4 is uh, nice and smooth right now. It's also nice and dry. Now, temperature-wise, we're at 67 degrees. Light wind out of the south-southeast running about 5 miles an hour. So it's a comfortable evening across central Florida. Elsewhere, 66 in Ocala. It's 64 degrees now in Daytona Beach, 67 in Melbourne, and 66 degrees over in Kissimmee. Made it up to 72 degrees for our daytime high in Orlando, right on par with our seasonal average of 72. Record high, 86 nowhere near that. Thankfully, here's a look at that infrared satellite imagery, and there's a lot of cloud cover overhead tonight. That's going to mean moisture settling in. That's also going to mean that those temperatures are unable to drop all that much. So we're going to be slowly falling into the 60s, but that's about it for us. Now the satellite and radar is also showing us that area of high pressure, giving us that southeasterly wind. That's what's helping to bring in that moisture to town. So clouds will be lingering seven o'clock, 62 degrees by nine o'clock. Might want to have that light jacket handy, but but you don't even necessarily need it if you're not all that sensitive to the temperatures. 11 o'clock, we'll watch patchy fog beginning to develop, especially in these lower drainage areas where we get those calmer winds developing quicker. 60 degrees, 11 o'clock, and across most of central Florida, we're going to be in the upper 50s, lower 60s. The only exception is going to be up here in Marion County, where you typically are our cooler location. So 53 does it in Ocala, 54 in Donnellan, 55 Bushnell, back over to the villages. It's 58 tonight in Mount Dora, 59 degrees in, uh, say, the uh, uh, Claremont area, 59 degrees in Kissimmee, 58 Keenansville. We'll call it 59 in Altamont Springs, 60 downtown, but as soon as you get out into the suburbs, we shave a degree off. 59 in, uh, say, Ocoee, back over to Lake Nona, uh, around 59 degrees in Titusville, 58 once you get around the Ponce Inlet, New Smyrna Beach area, 59 degrees Cape Canaveral, and 59 degrees for us in Melbourne. So here's Futurecast, 730 tonight. It's cloudy but dry. That's going to continue through 11 o'clock through the overnight and then waking up tomorrow morning. We'll start watching some showers. Southern Polk, Southern Osceola, Brevard could get in on the fun along with Indian River counties, but the majority of the rainfall in the forecast for the Sunshine State will stay to our south. Just a sprinkle or two in our southern areas, but with high pressure and control giving us a warm southerly wind, it's going to be a little bit more sunshine for us. Storms mainly south of our area, though our southern areas could run a quick shower or two. So 76 to 81 degrees. That'll about do it. Temperatures about five degrees above our seasonal average. Your day showing those clouds, but the little breaks kind of built in through lunchtime. Then through the afternoon into the evening, one or two sprinkles trying to move on in. Rain chances building by Thursday. This as our next storm system moves in. Here's Futurecast on Wednesday, two o'clock. There's a frontal boundary. Watch as it moves in here. This is eight o'clock Thursday morning. Rain's beginning to move in. Then as that front slides through, we get the rain chances on the increase. So Central Florida's most accurate seven day forecast showing a nice dry setup early in the week. Then Thursday thunderstorms around town. Then the temperatures drop as that cold front slides on through back into the 60s for daytime highs Friday into Saturday. Yeah, dropping off big time. Mm -hmm. UCF